Hi everyone, welcome to Geekgasm TV. My name is Gray. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV since around 2018, and I've been wondering for a while whether the game needs a new starting point for new players. Let's get into it. The last expansion, Endwalker, was the end of the story some players have been playing through since 2010, and there have been rumours in the community that the developers have been considering a new starting point for new players. So why would they even be thinking about it? Well, let's assume for a second that you, the viewer, are that new player. What lies ahead for you? The truth is, hours and hours of content. And while in my opinion, much of it is brilliant, there is so much to get through before you be ready for the next expansion and kick off of the new story this summer. Along with the main story quests, or MSQ as we call it, there are also a lot of distractions. You might not love the DPS job you started with and choose to switch to one of the four healing jobs and level that instead. You might see someone in Limpsa Limpsa running around with a shiny bow that turns out to be a relic from the base game you really, really have to have and spend hours grinding quests for it. You might decide you want to get into crafting and gathering. Honestly, gathering is one of my favorite chill out activities in the game. I can hit rocks for, for hours. All of this though can be intimidating, even when you have others, even good friends welcoming you. This is a lot of video game, and although the developers have made a good fist at making it a decent single player experience, there is a lot to learn. With the re release of Dawn Trail expansion this summer, and the game now available on Xbox, it does seem like a good moment to consider a new start for new players, to get them straight into the new content. Surely that must be on the cards. Give new starters the option to bypass everything that's gone before, give them a couple of hours of a tutorial to break them into the game's basic mechanics, and introduce them to our beloved cast. Then off they can sail to the west of Aetherus with the rest of us. Sounds simple, right? So why wouldn't they do it? Firstly, the developers have created 10 years worth of content, and while you can currently pay to skip the story to the beginning of M. Walker and level one of the jobs to level 80, it costs nearly £40 to do that. It's not a cheap option when you've already had to buy the game, unless we forget, pay for a subscription. Personally, if I'd created 10 years of video game, I'd be sad to create an option to skip it all for free. It would also create the potential for thousands of new players not really knowing what they were doing. That first trial after the launch of a skip might be fun. Although it's a new story for Dawn Trail, it will still be rooted in everything that's come before. How the designers on board a new player with a new character into a new story, but keep the sense of a legacy from all that's come before, would take a bigger brain than mine. My attachment to 14 is primarily about the brilliant cast of characters we've all come to love over the years. I get it though, that's very much about me as a player. There are 100% players that only care about Endgame and clearing the harder content so a skip for them would be super useful. So where do I land on this? I think a new optional starting point for new players would be a good thing. With an option to, at any point, go back and experience the 2.0 beginning at any time. Indeed, make the new start an option for everyone with any new character they create. I realise this is probably a lot of work, but the game will always need to keep growing. And if it really does want to survive and thrive for another 10 years, it will need to be accessible for new players, as well as have that shiny new look, new look of paint we're getting with Dawn Trail. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm super new to this and really just cutting my content creating teeth.